Ducks have not gotten set up on the power play. Now 45 seconds gone. And the second unit comes over the boards. Carlson pestered by Mangiapane who tied up his stick. Sharon Govich plays it back to the line. And Mangiapane will score. Uh, this yeah. was just sloppy in so many ways for the Ducks power play. I mean, they could not get organized. They were not moving up the ice together. And credit the Flames. And Anaheim was a little sleepy here, and so they just jumped on him. Mangiopane forces the turnover. Sharon Govich keeps it alive. And you see sliding in behind Zellweger, Mangiopane, the guy that created the turnover in the first place, gets rewarded with a tap-in goal. 14th of the year for Mangiapane is first and out of the box Huberto pops it quickly to Sharon Govich big save Gibson fat rebound goes right through Jonathan Huberto uh, I'm on a attack going the other way for the Ducks by Zellweger from the point that Wolf was able to spot through a green in the Ducks Here's Pahal trying to sneak up the boards and Ross Johnston got just enough of him Johnston playing his 200th NHL game tonight. Can't get the puck loose from Kuzmenko. What a glove save by Gibson. And that was Kadri, the Flames' leading scorer that he turned away while on the seat of his pants. Kadri, 68 points on the year. This is his second year in Calgary. And here's Huberto cutting in and a good pad save by Gibson. Kadri. Carries into the Anaheim zone. Brings it to the middle and scores! Nazem Kadri with a little self-chip pass got to the middle of the ice. It's 2-0. Calgary. That's well, a nice move by Nazem Kadri as he comes back against the grain and gets that puck quickly into his wheelhouse. He does when he gets over the line. He's got pretty good speed. He's going to focus on Jackson Lacombe here. Lacombe a little bit deep. That little flip backhand to forehand. Knew he had some space, and he beats John Gibson with a long shot from the top of the circles, just inside, over the pad, the blocker side. 27th of the season for the... Lucas Dostal had started the last five coming into tonight. Here's Brent Leeson into the Calgary zone, hit the goal post short side. Oh, a rebound to Johnston, turned away by Wolf. That was a good stop by Wolf. I think he was helped out by Shillington, too, on the back side, who really prevented that puck being slammed into an open net. Kuzmenko centers, and that one off the mask of Gibson. Lundestrom shimmies, puts it back to the side of his own net. Incidentally, great save by Gibson. Rebound to the side of the net, and Kuzmenko cannot convert. And the Anaheim net miner able to pounce. Shillington moves it quickly, and here comes Miramanov, the former... Vegas Golden Knight puts it behind the Anaheim net. Quickly moved around and Strom hoists it back to center ice. Miramanov under it. Knocked down. Here's a giveaway and Wolf with a great save on Zegras. Poke check sending the Flames in and a chance for Huberdo. Second point blank chance he's had that Gibson has kept out. Been that kind of experience for Huberdo since he came to Calgary. Now trying to hook it around is Kuzmenko. And he scores. I don't think he succeeded on the initial attempt, but he got to the puck at the far post. And Andre Kuzmenko has his 11th goal since joining the Calgary Flames. And when he tried to stuff it, he, he hits the left leg of John Gibson. They're going to look at this, John, because I think Kuzmenko pushes the leg of Gibson over the line right there. And you're not allowed to do that. I, I think this goal's coming back. Watch the stick of Kuzmenko. He shoves Gibson and the puck over the line. If the puck is in front of the pad, different story. From that angle, it looks like Gibson has the puck underneath the left pad. After Anaheim's coach's challenge, it was determined that we have a good goal. So the Ducks will remain shorthanded. But he's, he's had a big impact here in Anaheim, and he's been a big part of this organization now for over a decade. Yeah, it, it, it gets lost because of you know, the tough years that the Ducks have had recently. But Silverberg was a key part of uh, the best at football. Oh, wow, Sharon, or excuse me, it's Connor Zeri who gets to a rebound and hoists it on the backhand into the top shelf, and Calgary's lead is now 4 nothing. Just 22 years of age. And, you know, this is a play that the Ducks looked like they were in good position, but... 
kind of a broken play. But Zary's allowed to collect that rebound. Huberto just throws it in front. John Gibson can't get over and protect that short side. And there was room up top for Connor Zary. Fifth most goals scored by any NCAA player this year. So you know he likes to put the puck on net. Spoke with him this morning about his decision to enter the portal. Oh, it's behind Wolf and they'll score! There it is! The first NHL goal for Sam Colangelo. That's a great moment. And you go to the net, good things happen, right? Where's Colangelo go? Spots it, slams it home. It doesn't get much easier than that. The Stoneham Mass native has a goal in his first NHL game. Last night, when they defeated the Flames 4-1, to one. here's Zegras now. Drop pass to Strom. Strom, far post, just out of the reach of a Toronto. McComb comes in to keep the puck alive below the goal line. Zegras goes behind the back. The Toronto scores. What a pass. What a pass. But Trevor Zegras. And he saw him the whole way. And he's going to the forehand side. He's going to continue behind the net. Watch the head of the goaltender. As soon as Dustin Wolf looks the other way, Zegras spins, backhand pass, and Frank Petrano's got half a net. Oh, a definite, very noticeable spring in the step of the Ducks. Right through the logo comes Terry with speed into the Calgary zone. He peels back, feeds the point. Fowler across, room for Zellweger. Let's it go. He scores! Great screen in front from Kalorn. Don't look now, it's a one goal game. going to do a real nice job here. Watch this. It's a bank pass from Perry. And, from Terry, excuse me, and then a quick shot, and you're right, Alex Kalorn just kind of blocks out the sun, takes away the goaltender's eyes. That puck may have gone off the stick of Jonathan Huberdo en route to the net. Azim Kadri. Makes his way through center. Huberto cuts to the middle, snaps it over, and a shot goes through Gibson and in. Kuzmenko's second of the game, both on the power play. Calgary on top 5 3. Kuzmenko has been a force in this game, and that's a tough one for the Ducks. What kind of traffic is in front of the Anaheim goal crease here? Cadre is going to the front of the net. And there's the shot that comes through, and I oh, he got one piece of it, maybe. Kadri may have got a touch on that puck. Hard to see between the arm and the body of Gibson, and just enough juice to get over the line. Well, it wasn't how to get to places. It wasn't always a Swedish hockey mafia on this roster. Remember when Jacob first got here, there was a lot of Finnish players. Here's Pospisil cutting into the slot, and a fat rebound is potted up high by Kuzmenko. Well, Kuzmenko and Kadri, that combination has just killed Anaheim in this game. Pospisil right there with the chip past Selwiger, and he drives the net, slams it into Gibson's leg pad, and no one is there to pick up. Winning in Southern California is going to be probably pretty special to him as well. The Ducks with a big comeback to begin the third period, but they fall short.